darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy waste of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. Obviously to torture me. Torture you? Someone forcing me to be around you this long can only be described as torture. Hey, you're no peach to be around either. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? We could jump him. Hey, you what? There's two of us. Even you should like those odds. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're not the one who keeps beating up. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's... It's genius. All right. Go on the three. One. Two. Three. Go! That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <laughs> hey! Stop it! Please! 
Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gornis, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <sighs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You That's Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is... Yeah. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters... <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in! I I'm fine! Stop! Yes, whatever you want! Please, just... Just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, okay, this isn't the first okay, time we've had to get on. creative. We'll, Look, I we'll know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we how's can make some progress. How's your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll story. teach you to hit the taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill you're down on every aspect of the you, mission. You help me, but your so constant shit-talking isn't helping anybody. I'm not the one forcing us to go on a suicide mission. Oh, Reese, you see, you just so sadly mistaken. Great. It's helping me pass the time inside your stupid little tiny wallet head. The reality is that Wait, we don't have a choice. Wallet head. I like that. Wallet head, wallet head. 
You don't think That's I know stuff. that? Then maybe try coming so up listen, with a few solutions. So listen, I hate to be the bearer okay, of good news one. here, but if there's know. one thing that you know about me, you know it's that, that I'm a collector of my Fine. rival's What's top secret solution? projects. I, That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys bought, yeah, borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got, I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man. How many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great! Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, the Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Come on! Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. Yeah, it'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies... But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. 
Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Here's why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! And August, that's why. Together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. For the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, what? Don't no. look at me. I'll kill you. G go team! <laughs> Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Cause he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Oh, hey. So, uh, hmm. We lied about being racers. We were only in that one death rally by accident. We just really needed repairs. Like, life or death stuff. Sorry. Oh, no, I am so surprised. Come on, girl, I knew you wasn't racers. But you look like a couple of good-natured gals, and I never turned down an opportunity to help a couple ladies, especially when I got a crush on one of them, and I will not say who that is, no matter what. Fiona, shoot! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. We're gonna fly up to Helios and leave a big flaming pile of skag crap right on their doorstep. Oh, heck yeah! What do you want to get the crap? You want to, like, just find some? Or do you want to, like, make some? Or do you want to get it off the black market? Because I know this wholesaler, trust me, I'll... We're not actually gonna do that. It's a metaphor. Yeah. That word. That all sounds great! Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big vault hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Janie, I'm sorry about Athena. But we'd really like your help. Well, I'd like my girlfriend back. Looks to be a rough day for everybody. She said it was just an easy protection job. 
as if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and her entire gang just to take her down. Heh. <laughs> That's my girl. Ha ha ha. This is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta- I just sit. wanna know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that... But you've already done... Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, space buddies! <sighs> hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. Fine. Here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. Ah, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. His face has no face. Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Uh, uh, what were the pepperonis? 
A skin pink. Oh, you clearly uh, haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what, not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. You know, screw Hyperion. I'm only going back because I need to get the beacon. Then I'm gone. I won't need them anymore once we've opened the vault. Hey, check you out. Now you're thinking like Handsome Jack. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a little freaky, actually. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Scanning... Scanning... Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I wanna end up psycho dinner. Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Oh, Wallace! Not now. Interrupt. <laughs> Alright, good, good, again! This time with feeling! Give him the old smack dab! Atta boy! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader. Huh. Kind of looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Mm, nope. Well, this is a fun night. Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Get me back to Helios, Reese. Pretty please. With strippers on top. We got this. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off. Peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth <laughs> with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that that is just the the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh no 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 no! Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch, pinch it off, just pinch it uh, off. Please. Seriously? Oh, please don't do. It. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross! <laughs> <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! 
Run! You're the only one running, pal. I can fly! So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Oh! Said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh. Yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona should fit in on Helios, but you, Sasha? No way, man. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just... All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could've bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? <whistles> Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Not impressing anyone with this, but it's all right. Whoa, hey, I'm done. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. You look like absolute corporate scum. Huh, ah, awesome. That's what I was going for. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. One thing. Hmm. I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put, put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah, have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan.
Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. <sighs> Skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... <laughs> oh, definitely weird. <laughs> well, it's certainly... Big. <sighs> That's Scooter for you. I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back. to see this. <gasps> Little help? Not a problem. That's creepy. Right. Sorry.
I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. I think I prefer this view. Yeah. Me too. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... You know, it's an idea. One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. Eh, we wing it. <laughs> of course we do. When you're good at something, why stop? Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that. Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. Don't worry, I won't do nothing stupid. It'll be like discreet and stuff. Uh, has anything you've ever done been discreet? I don't know, like spray painting a doll logo on a Helios? But see, I can't even do that till my new paint drone gets delivered. It's supposed to be next Tuesday. Warning. Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a... person? Shh. Looks like he's sleeping too. Henderson. Impact detected. Arm center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Whose idea was it to bring this tin can? Um, how critical exactly? Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. So it's real bad? Pretty bad, yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. We need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. First one, oh, yeah! We're gonna burn! Oh, man, I got like 50 lines I want to say about full thrust. Scooter! Uh, hey, what's up? Concentrate! What do we do next? Oh, at the moment? Right? What? Yeah, we're running like real hot right now. Yeah, like crazy hot. But we gotta do it. This is our only shot. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity. And when we do, you gotta shut these puppies down. You hear? Yeah, yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? Achieving escape velocity in five, four, three, two, one. Go! <laughs> So then, why are the alarms still going? Nah, that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They are going to explode. Step two, let's do this! 
Uh, when are they gonna explode? Flash. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? Don't you worry, your pretty little yeah, all of you, yeah, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though.
Now don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about an old Scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you. Hey, I'm real glad to have met you, Fiona. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys. was the first casualty of the mission. could we do? We had to finish the mission. That's what Scooter would have wanted. I know what it is like to lose someone you care about. The worst part is... Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway... We didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. <laughs> there we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chilling in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh. What's the word? Well, how's it hanging, fellas? Another glorious day working for the big H in the sky, am I right? How are your kids? Still non-existent. You nailed it! That was a test. Well done! Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. 
Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. So, what were you doing down there? I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Huh. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... on my way. Nah. Nah? What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Bat, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? As you may have noticed from your viewing, I'm sorry to report that he is passed on. Passed on? It looks like he was blown apart. <laughs> he did go out with a bang. Well, actually, two bangs and a squish. My condolences. You've got some damn nerve showing up here like this. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. Deal? What deal? It's a little late to play dumb, Hugo. So we agreed that I'd bring you Reese's head? This is priceless. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know Hugo Vasquez. It's been real. We're standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're linked. Now for the password. Alright, alright, you wanna dance? Let's dance! Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you.
Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Lady's trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh, what are you wearing? You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tor. It's like they worship. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Set my gun, does the talking. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, check in the schedule. Check in the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. Is that her? No, that's a him. There's a tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah. When I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that Brie hyperhydrated crap, I bet productive... Oh, come on. No, no, no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is humans drink? Uranium milk, perhaps? Ooh. Oh, my outfit's ruined. Oh no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You. Do you have any idea who this is? A nice tour guide lady? The 
two or Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordis. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. So, <laughs> you guys are a tour group. We're the Handsome Jack VIP experience. The best tour money can buy. It better be. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Sorry, because of the security situation, the tour's canceled. Uh, what? We weren't told about this. I'm telling you now. We've waited months. So, wait a few more. We're not leaving. So you better give us this tour. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The, uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This... depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Handsome Jack... Defeating... um... Oh, man, what didn't Handsome Jack do? Cool! The entire army of Grimtilius by... Rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa. You are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Wish I had a horse like that. Wish I had diamonds like that. Jack loved his trusty steed, more than his own family. Unfortunately, the poor creature died from iridium bullet poisoning, and hardened into the statue you see before you. Poor little guy. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kind of just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. Look at this chair. Just marvel at it. Stare deeply into its majesty. This empty chair represents that Handsome Jack is no longer with us. Out of respect to Jack, please. Be silent and hold all questions. Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So... Why would you tell us that it is? Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? 
All right, enough chit chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. Guess what? You're banned from tours for life. Y you can't do that. Should have been nicer. I won't stand for this. Tough break, kid. Maybe next time you'll show some respect. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Gordon, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm, can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop! Why? Oh boy, I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh... Gotta be, I paid good money for this. Uh-uh, I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Sure, go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're Goodbye. Your own lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and, and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, we just need to think about this for a second, and uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. Events here. Crap. He said to hold tight. Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't reason- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You, uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Bond all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. Don't pout. Yes, I took your office. Big deal. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Mallory's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. 
I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? Uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. Go! Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. A reminder, if you have been wounded by gunfire, please hang up and dial emergency medical services. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down. A stun rod. Oh, wait a second, that's the one... The one I gave... To Reese. Real sorry about this event. How dare you threaten me? Fiona, you there? Great. What took you so long? Do you forget that we have, a, you know, a mission to accomplish? I ran into an old friend, who I guess is a new enemy. that? <laughs> yeah, she's dead to me. Well, I mean, unconscious, really, but as, as good as dead. She might actually be dead, though. I don't know. Wow. Everyone is trying to screw you over. I know. I have something of a gift for that. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no vault means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would've drained the friggin' battery on it back. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation town. We're here. Oh, good. Come on, don't try and tell me now. Yeah, I could do without the sarcasm, Reese. I don't see you overflowing with ideas. Sorry, stressed. I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reese! As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you. You're gonna love it. Not to burst your bubble or anything, but isn't a trapdoor just a little cliche? So is saying burst your bubble, what's your point? Uh, that I'm surprised a man of your distinct tastes would have one? It's a time-honored tradition used by generations of Iberian CEOs. You know, I, I feel like you're mocking my culture. It's just a trapdoor. Jeez. Uh, it's not just a trapdoor. It's the centerpiece of your new plan. Uh -huh. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. You're, you're just you're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. But this is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess. And your disguise breaking down. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step though is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a. <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. Hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? 
putting this horse down. Grr! I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why... why is it... You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop fucking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? Where did was just filled with strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet me at... Wait, are you there? Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to... With the... Uh, Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Vasquez! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! to lead. Screw this thing. Yo! 
You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks, makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? Nothing. I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I think she said release. Release? Yeah, like, hey, release me. How pathetic. Right. Except what she apparently said was, Oh, hi, release. Things are going great. Yeah, that's a weird sentence, isn't it? So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs... Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation wow. for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! Whew! Glad I got these meaty ham hocks. Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese! Okay! Oh! How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die! Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Climb, climb. You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. 
Don't forget what's on the line here. Look, there's no need for... Messy. More messy. Just know that we're working on it. I'm really close. You better be, or it's gonna get messy. Yeah, yeah, you just said that, man. Look, I'm right in the middle of this. I'll talk to you in a bit. Hey, don't... Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, let's do it. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. The scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. There's my man. What's on your mind? You build this office yourself? Ha! <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's a spirit. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, vent some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock and collection of valuables is. That desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I mean, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it way. I think I'm just gonna... Take a look around. That's yeah, a spirit.
Welcome to my trophy case. Huh? Got a couple of killer relics. A few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty frickin' cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Okie dokie! Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. With that gorgeous. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room, what would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! What's going on over there? I'm being told to stand down. Stand down? How does that even work? I'm not supposed to tell you that. We're kind of in the middle of something. Nope, I can't tell. I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want, if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? Then open the vault, finish what I started. Even if there's a tentacle monster in there, I don't care anymore. Oh, you, you don't gotta explain. <laughs> I was all about the vault. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. 
Jack in. You get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a long time coming. A lot of people. That's it. <laughs> Here it comes. Re, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the two of us running high period. And she doesn't even know I exist. That's... Oh, God. It's, it's priceless. So... Was that it? Are we done? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, man, it feels good to get out of there. Road trip's over, Reese. We made it. So, what happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honors. Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a clapping, because I want to give him Special high period welcome to the chiefiest of executives. Totally president material, all the way from janitorial. This can't Batman be happening. Reese! Wait, so this is actually mine. This this is mine to control. Take it in, Reese. Hyperion, Pandora, Elpis. Oh, <laughs> they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome Hunter Jack.